positioning himself a little bit piggy in the middle here, isn't he? He's well, not he... coming down on the side of the unions. He's not trying to oppose them. What should he do? Well, when he was running for leader, I, I supported him. I've been disappointed. I, the, the sacking of the MP today, I think, is wrong. I think the trouble with Keir is he's trying to accommodate to the right too much. But if you want a good Labour victory at the next election, you have to have good radical socialist policies. Like when Wilson won in 64, you know. Didn't work for Corbyn, did it? Well, I, the, the real problem for Jack, when you actually look back, Jeremy had been leader for two years and then there was the 2017 election. He got the biggest increase in the Labour vote for 72 years, came within 2% of defeating the Tories. But then you had only all these lies and smears about anti-Semitism. And, and they were lies, were they? Of course. I mean, I've been in the Labour Party since 1969. In all that time, I've never heard a single anti-Semitic comment. I've only ever heard one racist comment back in 1970. If you're racist or anti Smith, you're not going to join the Labour Party. The Labour Party has been the home, political homeland for the Jewish community for a century. When I got elected to Parliament back in 87, almost every Jewish MP was sitting on the Labour mm. benches. Ken Livingston, it's great to have you hey, on the show. Wonderful. And the great thing about GB News is we're here for free speech. We want <laughs> Labour voices, we want Conservative voices. You get my voice and opinion too, but we think you're big enough and ugly enough at home to make your own minds up. And we're about free speech, and that's what really matters. I'm sure Ken and I... That's why I watch you every day. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you.